Do you need a bagger? Roll the intro. Welcome back, Anonymous Biker USA. Quick vlog today. Do you need a bagger? What's up, everybody? If you're first time here, welcome to the channel. Hit the thumbs up, the subscribe button. Would appreciate it greatly. Topic of today, do you need a bagger? Need is a strong word. Comes down to what kind of riding do you do and what is the purpose of said bagger? Old Cadillac hearse with a uh, Grim Reaper on the back that says King. And look at this thing. Yikes. That is a Miller Meteor, it says. That thing's crazy. So yeah, do you need a bagger? Well, I guess it depends on what kind of ride you do, right? I have a bagger. Do I need it? Let's talk about it. I bought my bagger because I wanted to learn how to ride a big heavy bike because I came from sport bikes and then I had the Scout and I wanted to test my skills on a heavier bike especially at slow speed maneuvers and it has served my purpose well in terms of that. I also got it to ride two up which definitely is comfortable for the passenger so a big bagger with a trunk definitely is advantageous if you're riding two up. But what if you're riding solo? Do you need all that? I find no. In my, in my opinion, you don't. You know, you got the saddlebags, you got the trunk, the fairing, the lowers, all that wind protection. I mean, unless you're riding coast to coast and just crushing highway miles, does a bagger serve that purpose? 100%. Is it necessary? No. I, I mean, you can, you know, Road King Standard or Road King Special and Indian Springfield. Heck, the Scout. I got my saddlebags, the sissy bar, I put a bag on. You can easily ride this across country. Would it be as comfortable? Actually, for me, yeah. I mean, I, I, the bagger I have is comfortable, but let's, let's be real. I mean, after 200 miles, you stop, get gas anyway. You get off, take a break, take a stretch, get something to drink. So you have to take a break regardless of if you're on a bagger or on this midsize bike. So I don't know. What do you all think? Leave in the comments below. Are the big, gigantic baggers like Roadmasters and Ultras and road glides and are they overrated why do you think most people buy them because it seems like the majority underutilize what the purpose is for now those road warriors who are going coast to coast and big trips and thousands of miles I get it but if you're like the normal moto enthusiast where most of your riding is weekends and day trips why do you have it? I'm not saying it's wrong, I'm not saying it's right, I'm just curious as to why. I mean, I'm sure you like the bike, obviously that's the reason, but just curious, open for discussion, curious to hear the comments. I love my bagger, don't get me wrong, but is it necessary? Is it overkill? Everybody that, if you guys are just like riding around town or day trips and you have a big bagger with everything that I mentioned, do you ever get sick of lugging it around like, oh man, this thing's getting heavy, I'm tired, I don't feel like riding it. Just wondering. It's kind of why I have a couple bikes, right? Because each bike serves a different purpose. So even more so, if you have one bike and it is a big bagger with the fixed fairing and the lowers and the trunk and you are not riding two up, why did you get it? Are you a big 30,000 mile a year rider? Are you doing coast to coast? You're doing big trips? You're doing every rally? 
Lone Star, Sturgis, Laconia, Oktoberfest, yada yada yada, whatever other fest there is that you can put a name in front of. Are you doing all those? Now I'm talking big baggers with fixed saddlebag, trunk, fixed bearing, lowers, all that stuff. I'm not talking about a bike where you can remove the bags, remove the trunk. I'm just talking about like, you know, your Road Glide Ultras, your Kawasaki Voyagers, your Yamaha Star Eluders, Indian Roadmasters, all those categories of bikes. If your answer is, I have it for storage. I ask you to look in your saddlebags and your trunk next time you go for your ride. How much of that stuff do you ever use? Because most of us overpack. I'm sure you could get away with a third of that stuff. You know, you got your, your little day bag, rain gear, yeah, something to drink, a snack, whatever. If you're a YouTuber, a motovlogger, you got your camera gear, which pretty much takes up most of the space. But can you whittle it down and fit it in two saddlebags? I think most of us would find out, yeah, probably could. But we have the option of having the trunk, which is why we have the bagger and like it. So maybe that's one of your reasons. All right, came to a red light, bike come to a stop, just as this vlog has. So thanks for watching, don't forget. I am Anonymous Biker USA.